All right, here's my uh, results for my PMA wind turbine combination. Uh, not real happy with it. I'm about 15 mile an hour winds are the the max that we're getting right now, and uh, I'm not getting anything over uh, really four volts is the max. So uh, it's going to be time to. Uh, I got two ways I can go. I can either change the stator out, maybe some smaller wire, more windings, or change the blades. I may change the uh, the blades design because um, I see a lot of deflection in the in the pole and it's, uh, it's not harnessing all the uh, wind energy it's it's actually um, sort of acting like a sail I guess so uh, I'm gonna probably change the blades and use the same hub center and, and, and change the design of the blades uh, right now I'm just showing the uh, the breaking effect of grounding out the leads and uh, comes almost a dead stop and then uh, starts back up fairly quickly um, once I do change the blades and I get this thing spinning a little faster um, I'll, I'll wire up some kind of uh, overspeed braking system alright here's a quick overview of, uh, of the dimensions and sizing of my PMA these are the magnets that I used I used uh, 12 on the bottom, 12 on top, total of 24. The uh, dimensions are here of the uh, coils and my magnets. And um, I used nine coils. And they are wired in a star configuration. And that I got off the, uh, off the internet. And uh, this is the, uh, the schematic for that. And then I cast my stator, and the stator ended up being about nine and a half inches uh, the diameter. All right, I hope this uh, helps some of you guys that are uh, designing your own PMAs. Uh, give you a little information on the uh, on what I use for sizing, and maybe you can uh, take that and and sort of calculate what you're going to need. It seems to me that my uh, design for my PMA would have been better suited for a horizontal axis uh, wind turbine something that spins a lot faster so uh, I need to, uh, to change the uh, the sizes of the coils and um, and see if I can up the volts